跑出来。And now the long-awaited Group B commentary. This is going to be Stork versus Baby on Great Barrier Reef. And this is the one I was actually looking forward to the most, so I'm glad I finally get a chance to cast it. Such a big file that it got kind of got a caught up in the internet. It got lodged in the internet. I had to get a crowbar and get it out of there. But yes, this is going to be a great matchup. I have no doubts about it. Because Baby, one of the hottest up-and-coming Terran players, he's so young too, 15 years old, about the same age as Flash, when Flash was uh, out there destroying everyone, including Stork in the finals, 3-0. But yes, yeah, Stork has some of the best versus Terran in the game, so I have no doubts he's going to give Baby a hell of a fight here today, if not completely destroy him. I haven't seen many Baby games, aside from his games against Jang being the GOM TV, um, tournament a long, long time ago. We actually played great in that series, but we'll see what he can bring against Stork. Stork's a very uh, tough Protoss player to nail down because he has a style that not many other Protoss players even touch. Heavy Dragoons. Okay, let's get into this. Except up at the 12 o'clock position in red is Stork, so that means down at the 8 o'clock position in beige, I think, is Baby. I actually had one of my subscribers wanted me to do baby. I usually go baby, but he wanted me to do uh, the baby voice in my killer voice for killer. Well, you're baby, my name is baby. Okay, so yes, let's see what baby can come up with on this map. There's a lot of space around the main area, so expect to see a lot of drops in this game. Also, let's take a few moments to uh, appreciate the irony of uh, this matchup. This is Stork versus Baby. Yes, very ironic matchup. Uh, deliver me, will you? I don't think so. Okay, let's get some predictions from the Nuka Knights. Uh, here is one from uh, Daemonite. Daemonite writes, uh, uh, so I recently cut up my thumb and now it's stuck in a cast thingy giving my right hand a perma thumbs up. I'm dead serious. My thumbs up is, o is only for one person. Stork, big thumbs up to the bird toss, he says as he has it in a cast. Excellent. Here's another one from Rubble90 writes, uh, here's hoping Baby uses his crazy ridiculous strategies to own everyone else. Go Baby! Go Baby! Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to use my killer voice for that. But okay, let's Here's another one from uh, Shemi83 writes, if Baby plays his uh, PVT style he played versus Jangbi in the very first series I saw of him, he will make it out of the group. The other one will be a Protoss and I have to go with Stork here because he faces two Terran enemies. Uh, very good assumption. Stork has very good versus Terran as I said. You see he's throwing down his cybernetic score going straight for Goon. Let's see if he gets out a single Zealot or not. If we don't see that single Zealot out there, we can assume that Stork is going for his base a little bit earlier, getting out one single Dragoon to protect everything and deny that scout. And this is an interesting map for uh, Protoss versus Terran because it's a lot like Outsider with those mineral lines. And last season, El Nino, the, the, basically the same map, gave us a lot of interesting Protoss versus Terran games uh, like uh, Pure versus Lita, that was such an interesting game, very long game too, involved a lot of epic uh, Arbiter stasises. But okay, let's see, SCV looking around here, Baby's trying to find uh, what Stork is putting down, see if he goes higher tech than what he's doing right now, I'd say it's likely, since he did put down the Cybernetics Core, 
Uh, I think he is going straight for his robotics facility soon. Here comes Dragoon range, though, so the robotics facility isn't going to be up yet. But, of course, a common strategy for a Protoss player is to do a uh, spinning uh, cybernetics core fake-out, which is to basically you upgrade plus one attack for air, which is cheaper than Dragoon range for canceling. So you just upgrade that. It shows that it's spinning, and the Terran player assumes that it's Dragoon range. And then when you get rid of the scout, you cancel it and then go straight for your robotics facility to get out as uh, faster drops. And Stork trying to kill as many marines as he can. He's coming in here with his probe too and Baby doing a nice job, very, very nice job of wedging his marines between all of his buildings. And one probe actually takes out a marine. Nicely done, Stork. Oh, uh, Stork, I can almost see a little smug, a little snirk, smirk on his face. I don't think snark's a word, but yeah. uh, that was pretty funny. Hero probe! Okay, let's see what Baby's up to. Neither player has decided to expand just yet. Robotics facility coming up for Stork, but I think he did get his Dragoon range first. And he's definitely going to need it to break through here. Uh, Baby is going to move out with a small, very tiny med uh, marine group. I almost said medic marine, but yes, no medics yet. I hope we see medics. It's always fun to see medics in uh, versus Protoss. To blind those observers and eat up the supply. But okay, Baby moving out. He has a single tank, so he's going to be fine against these Dragoons. Only two Dragoons out for Stork, so he's got to back off. He's only only going to take a shield damage though, so that's not that one shot is not going to hurt him too much. Coming in with three dragoons. Now he's going to try to pick at this barracks a little bit. Siege mode should be up soon though, and that's what's going to help Baby here. Baby trying to wedge his tank up, try to get within range. He went for his mines first, so he's not going to have siege mode just yet. He's going to have to wait a little bit longer on that, but the mines are there. And it's, wow, Stork, very nice reaction from him. He sees that one mine being placed. He decides, to, oh, he's going to push his luck even more and try to come up here and drag that mine and snipe it with the Dragoons. Very risky play from him, and I don't think that's the best idea in the world. I mean, one mine could take out all of these Dragoons, but Stork... Very aggressive Protoss player, especially with Dragoons. His Dragoon play is uh, unlike any other Protoss players, I think. By the way, if you didn't know it already, some of the new people might not know this, Stork is my favorite player, so I'm definitely, definitely rooting for him in this game and every other game ever. Just a heads up. If I seem biased, it's because I am. But Baby repairing his tank, that is smart of him. And now he has two tanks out, so he's going to be just fine at that front. Researching siege mode, so he's going to have that soon. And Stork is playing defensive mode now, and he's going to use his observer to, to uh, get the scouting information he needs. Transfer transferring all of his probes over to the natural expansion. And I think we're going to see a pretty standard macro game from these guys so far. Stork had a very small window to do kind of a break with his initial Dragoons there, but that window is gone now. Siege mode is up, so the Siege mode will just completely destroy um, the Dragoons if they try to come in for another kind of attack. And let's see the control tower coming up on that starport. So we're go going to see some drops, most likely vulture drops, from Baby inside of the main. And uh, Stork is going to see that coming a mile away. He saw the control control tower coming up. And he has observers all over the place. Getting up his robotic support bay. Oh man, we're going to see some reaver drops from Stork, most likely behind that natural expansion. That seems to be the best place to drop since it's so hard to get back there as any any race has a hard time getting behind those minerals. But Baby is taking that 9 o'clock position, and Stork is most likely going to harass that once he comes in with his first Reaver. He's probably going to come in with one Reaver and a couple of Zealots. But okay, Engineering Bay coming up finally for Baby. Going to get his uh, detection up. He didn't have any detection there for a little while, but... He had his mines, and that was enough to protect the front. Okay, Stork throwing down his third base heavy macro mode from these two guys. I'm, I'm actually very interested to see how Baby deals with a Protoss player in a mid to late game. So, lucky for me, I think I'm going to get to see that in this game. 
Stork is no slouch when it comes to late game uh, Protoss versus Terran. His shuttle play, especially, oh man, almost snipes the dropship. Baby's got to be a little bit more careful than that. Wow, it's almost like Stork read Baby's mind and knew exactly where he was going to go out with the dropship. But I like uh, this kind of play from Baby. He's repairing all of his units, even the dropship, because uh, that's one of the major, major good things about a Terran is you can repair pretty much everything. So why not do it? Okay, dropping. The Reaver finally comes in now, but the Reaver only going to be able to take out that one SCV, but he does snipe the turret, and that's going to be a pretty huge deal. The Observer was in there long enough to see that dropship, so Stork knows about that. A mine, very strategically placed mine from Baby, gets a lot of damage done on those two Dragoons in the middle. 